Hello there! It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me by the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I feel like he'd have a more grumpy, disgruntled voice. Let me try that one. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Okay, now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. <laughs> I don't see my face. These are like cartoon-like characters. Tell me, what is your name, youngster? Your name is Nintendo? Okay, so you're Nintendo. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Chad, is it? This is your friend's name? All right, Nintendo, it's the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventures is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of the Natin Lock. Brilliant Diamond Hardcore Nuzlocke. I don't know what I'm calling it yet. We'll see. The rules of this are pretty simple. I have created uh, my own personal list to go by. Okay, so the rules are pretty simple. Uh, rule number one, starter Pokemon is randomized. Number two, all Pokemon must be nicknamed. Four, no potions will be allowed during battle or encounters. Number five, we must new encounters. So if I have a full party of six, or it doesn't really matter. If I have a Pokemon, I want to swap for one that's in my PC. Or I want to swap it for a new encounter in my party. There you go. There are the rules to this Natin Lock, so to speak. Let's get into it. I'm going to go downstairs here. Go see my mommy. There's mommy. Oh, Nintendo! Chad came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it's about, but he said it's an emergency. <laughs> I don't know why I was sounding like I was uh, like she's crying. Oh yes, Nintendo. Yes. Ooh. Okay, I didn't. That was. Uh, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So. <laughs> Holy crap, Chad! He thudded right into me. Oh. What's that about? Oh, hey, Nintendo. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too. And be quick about it. Okay, Nintendo? I'm finding you one million if you're late. <laughs> oh, jeez. Forgot something. Forgot to put on my, my shit stompers. You better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh! Oh, hey, Nintendo. <laughs> We're going to the lake. I'll be uh, waiting for you. It's ten million this time, huh? Great joke, right? See you later. He's just going to leave me in his house. He's not going to be like, all right, I'll wait for you like a respectable person. Hey, look, you can like see your reflection in the ground. Damn, that much. She looks tired. She's been working hard. Got these floors polished. Man, my wife needs to take a couple notes. That kid rocket off again like usual. I guess he'd be out 201 by now. It's true. The wild Pokemon do attack sometimes. However, Pokemon a little bit of bop, 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 bop. Does anyone ever give you, like, legitimately good information? Or maybe even a laugh in the starting area. You're off to hang out with Chad again, right? You two sure are tight. Airtight. I'd like to get a third one up. You can see the cloud here. It's a very tiny cloud. A cloud that small wouldn't even cast a shadow. For all you meteorologists out there, probably appreciate that. Calling Pokemon out on that. Hi, Nintendo. You're looking for Chad. He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not chase after him? He's literally right here. Hey, you saw that news report on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados and shit. We should go over the lake and totally check it out, bro. This game looks great. Not gonna lie. 
It looks really good. I like uh, I like what they've done here. Oh, the best song. Let me turn the audio up a little bit. It looks like it's it might be down a little too low. But uh, what's going on, Professor? There isn't anything out of the ordinary on the on the side, is there? Hmm. I may have been mistaken. <laughs> Something appears to be different than that before. Fine, that's enough. Let's. We've seen the light. Come on, Don. Come on, little girl. Professor, how how are you enjoying this? You like it? What was that about? Huh? Nintendo, let's go check this out, bro. We've already randomized uh, previous to this. Rule number one of the Nuzlocke, uh, the starter must be randomized. We randomized it earlier and we got the Chimchar. Oh, what? Poke -po Pokemon? What's going on? Fwah! Your Chimchar totally rocked, bro! But my Piplup was way tougher than yours. There's our side hoe, Dawn. Professor would have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh! He's gonna... He's gonna spank me again! I gotta go! Hmm... I heard from Dawn that you used your Pokemon. Let me see, please. Hmm... Chimchar and Piplup, huh? Hmm... Hmm... I see, that's how it is. Hmm... 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 Dawn... I'm going back to my lab. What was that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. He didn't want his Pokemon back? That's weird. Nintendo, you should go home. You should go home too. Let's retire to our rooms with our Pokemon by ourselves and show them the love that they should always have. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both of you and Chad are in unharmed? <laughs> I see Chad. I, I can't think but laugh. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan, San Jim Town. I've heard he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite a handsome young young man and very sturdy young lad. Super sexy. I got a calendar of him. Can you get his autograph? Here's my number. Make sure he gets it. You received mom's number to give to Professor Rowan. With Rowan around, if I can lure him, you may actually have yourself a dad for once in these games. So get out there, do some work, and make sure that he gives old mommy a call. All right. Hmm. Finally, you've come. Nintendo, was it? Let me see if your Pokemon... Again, mm, see, yeah, Pokemon seems good. Mm -hmm. Everything looks tidy. Yeah, let's nickname our Chimchar companion Monkey Smack. Mm, okay, I see. And uh, you're pretty happy with that nickname, huh? Yes, I am. Your friend Chad told me what uh, happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, uh, despite it being your first time. <laughs> and uh, from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it's still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chip Char. I'm so glad that you're... Oh, f that's Don. I'm so glad how you're kind towards your Pokemon. Could you be kind towards me? I'll be your side. I love you so much, Nintendo. You're the best. I've subscribed to you on Twitch. Six month subscription. Make sure you tell your chat members they can use their Twitch Primes. Uh, yeah, uh, she's right. They can use their Twitch Primes for free and, uh, the subscribe to you. Let's move on to the main topic, though. There's something I want you to do for me there, little Nintendo. My name's Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly how old your mom is. Her bra size and everything. Because remember, my mom did give me her phone number to give to Rowan. Because I will have an actual chance to have a dad in this game. Now go, Nintendo. Your grand adventure begins right now. Okay, Nintendo, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building is the Pokemon Center. It's the place where you heal your Pokemon. This is the Poke Center. Mart, I mean. My bad. Oh, that's right. Nintendo, let me heal you up now. Dawn gets down on her knees. 
dum 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 Oh, but before you go, hill up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. She just healed me up. She didn't heal my Pokemon up. She healed me up. I do need to get a quick heal in, though. She's not lying. Man, this looks good. This game looks good, guys. This looking good. Good stuff. Oh, you know what? I can get Pokeballs. Go catch my first Pokemon. I'm here to buy. Okay. Oh my gosh, they start you out with 8k? That's crazy. Alright, show me how to catch a Pokemon, Don. Let's see what you got. Nintendo, did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? Oh, damn it, I gotta go home and tell mom. You too scared? <gasps> There's my mommy, mommy! I'm going! Welcome home, Nintendo! Did you get Rowan's number? I'm sorry, mommy, I couldn't get Rowan's number. Oh dear, looks like you're gonna still be dadless. Suck on mommy's titties. All healed up. What's up, Nintendo? Well, Professor Rowan asked you to go. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Let's just let's just get back to being a PG stream. I'm getting a little carried away. That's the guidebook. Um, Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead, but I have to stay home and clean the house and do the dishes and cook dinner. So, go get out there. Uh-oh, here comes Chad's mom. Excuse me, where'd my little Chad go? I can't find him anywhere. Okay, please tell Chad to come home. Please. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Nintendo. Now off you go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. And this might be an unpopular opinion, but I have always hated the fourth gen hat on the trainer. <laughs> hey, but that's me, you know? That's that's the Nintendo. All right, ready? First Pokemon I run into. First catch, guys. What's it gonna be? A Starly? A Bidoof? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> it's a Starly! Didn't see that one coming. All right, Monkey Smack. Smack. Go ahead and go for a catch. I think, uh, should catch, right? Should catch. Should! Rockin' Rob. I like it, G-Dub. For once, you have come up with a worthy nickname. I shall, I shall name him or her. I don't know what it is yet. Rockin' Rob. The Starling Pokemon. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. All right, now I said bye to my mommy. Now what? You guys want to hear my best Bidoof impression? <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. <laughs> it's important to get Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. <laughs> oh, Pokemon always get easier to catch. Okay, I can't keep that up forever. Make them sleep or something by using moves. Okay, Nintendo. Time to get down and dirty. Show me where the wild goose goes. This is a new route, right? This is, yeah, I, did, I caught a Pokemon in 201. This is 202. So the next encounter, we catch another. Another! Let's see what we get. The plump mouse Pokemon. With nerves of steel, nothing can protrude it. It is more agile and active than it appears. I think I got an idea. There we go. Humwakaku. <laughs> Look, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. It's it's an acronym. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Okay? If you want to say it in a shorter way, just call him umukaku. Umukaku. Guys, I'm telling you, umukaku is going all the way to the Elite Four. He's going to be the one to kill Cynthia's last Pokemon. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer too. Your eyes met, so battle we must. Ah! 
Youngster Tristan wants to battle. Get him, Humukaku! Ah! Uh, uh. And like clockwork, little Tristan just got pistoned. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I just said. I spy with my little eye a trainer with a large package. Last Natalie wants to battle. She sends out her Bidoof. As Nintendo is horrified by the Bidoof, he sends out Humukaku, another Bidoof, to go head to head. Last Natalie throws out another Bidoof, but Humukaku has been growled at once. So he won't be as more of effective as S. Wuhif as what was before. I a thousand percent agree, G Dub. I think that is the true lore behind Pokemon. I think the Pokemon God created Humukaku first, and then from Humukaku came all other Pokemon. We're in Jub Life City. Hi Nintendo, you're catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch more. In Jeb Life City, there are trainers. Does she not know that I'm doing a Nuzlocke? All right, we have to go in and talk to Chad, I believe. And then we got to go talk to all the clowns. Hey, Nintendo, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the black backboard. After all, it's trainer's job to avoid having precious Pokemon in battle, right? So Nintendo, what brings you here? You've got something for me? There's the parcel you forgot. To, your mom was worried sick, dude. She was crying and everything. She's crying all over me. You got some ginormous heads there, young boy. Oh crap, I didn't know that that was a battle. School kid Harrison wants to battle, sending out his Abra that can only teleport. Oh snap, that's how it is then? You hit it, $408 for a win. All right, what about you? You want a piece too? You want a piece of me, little girl? That didn't sound right. I'm completely impressed how tough you are. You look so handsome with that hat on. Damn it, I hate this hat. If you'd like, I can take you back to my friend's house and we can show you some technical moves. Hello, trainer. Do you know about much about Pokemon? Yes, I do, actually, old, old geezer. What do you want? Ah, I see. You're quite well-versed indeed. I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit trainer's school then. But do visit if... He just saw me come out of there. Oh, God, not this guy. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer? But you don't have the Poketech yet? Poketech is short for a Pokemon watch. Oh my, you're a rare case indeed. You see, I've invented and manufactured thousands of Poketechs. Not only that, I'm conducting Poketech promotional campaign right now. All you have to do is go and subscribe to my channel. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to know where Pokemon actually fails its players? It actually promotes to talk to strangers. Pokemon, you have failed our society. I award you no points, and God have mercy on your soul. I w if I was a good little boy, I wouldn't talk to any strangers that way, and then I would never progress in the game. But technically, you would win the game because you're doing the right thing. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll have to put my Poketech here in one, two, three. Bravo! I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with the Pokemon Watch. Or Poketech for short. You receive Poketech. You can add apps to your Poketech that make it even more versatile. Please press the R button to try it out. All right. Never talk to me ever again. Oh my gosh, it's just like the old Poketech. Look at that. I love that they kept it the same. They actually listened to us, guys. Very good, let's use it. Yes, yes, if my calculations are correct, and we subtract and minus the, the 30, and the, then multiply that by um, f the third power and minus the six, five, and times it by one, we should have our number. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Here's some coke to snort off your big rod. Your old... Oh my god, I just said big rod. I did not mean to say that. I don't know why I said that. Even old rod. None of that sounded good. Just forget about it. Here we go. Alright, next Pokemon. Let's get something good. 
What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, I forgot. You go there, and then you go all the way up to the very top, and then you throw one in here. At that point in time, we will not be able to catch anything. So then you go down one, then one, and then two to the right, and then throw again. And then you're not gonna catch anything, obviously. And then you go down, but before you hit the grass, stop, take a left to the water, throw it again. And then finally that is gonna pretty much be the time when you finally get a Pokemon. And that's exactly how you catch a Pokemon on the dock. Pretty easy, right? Majo Carp. okay, not bad. We get a Gyarados on the team, essentially. The fish Pokemon. It is said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one knows why it has managed to survive. New Pokemon. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I will take that. The Flash Pokemon. All of its fur dazzled in danger is sensed. It fills while the foe is momentarily blinded. Name it. Oh my god, I just figured it out. Light socket has been added to the party. Part of the cave is blurred. Like where I'm not walking. Oh crap. We have to catch this. Acrobat. Hey Nintendo, tell me! You've got a little tougher, right? Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I've gotten tough. Come on, let's battle it out. Last time we first chat, it was on Pokemon Showdown and I destroyed all of them. After playing the Radical Red Hardcore mode, I feel like every Pokemon game is significantly easier. I feel like I've been trained to my max potential. There you have it, Chad's been defeated. They really do need to throw in um, a difficulty meter in the settings, just in case. Mm -hmm.